Remember the massive freak out back in 2013 over what seemed like an imminent announcement of US military action in Syria. It seemed as though Obama was hours, even minutes away from committing US forces to a conflict that many feared could start World War III. Good afternoon, everybody. Ten days ago, the world watched in horror as men, women, and children were massacred in Syria in the worst chemical weapons attack of the 21st century. And now's the time to show the world that America keeps our commitments. Only a last minute about turn saved the day and everyone breathed a huge sigh of relief. Well, Obama has just basically declared war on Syria and hardly anyone even noticed. Well, President Obama giving the Pentagon the green light to defend U.S.-backed rebels in Syria. Now, under the new rules of engagement, the fighters trained and armed by the U.S. would have the support of airstrikes if they're attacked by Islamic extremists or Syrian government forces. So if the rebels make it to Damascus and are about to attack the presidential palace, the White House just authorized U.S. fighter jets to bomb the presidential palace. How is that not a declaration of war? ISIS is wreaking havoc all over the region, killing Christians and Muslims en masse. But the Obama White House is still preoccupied with targeting the Syrian military, which is the major force in the region fighting ISIS. Meanwhile, our so-called ally, Turkey, is buying huge quantities of oil from ISIS and bombing Kurdish soldiers who are fighting ISIS in northern Iraq. The Israeli military is also providing aid to Syrian rebels, many of whom have gone on to join Al-Qaeda-affiliated groups and ISIS itself. What the hell is going on? Why is the United States and its allies targeting people who are killing ISIS? Why are we following the same disastrous policy that we saw in Libya where rebel groups supported by NATO in the overthrow of Gaddafi went on to form the leadership of ISIS. Why are we doubling down on a failed foreign policy, supporting terrorists in a bid to topple sovereign governments that has spawned a humanitarian catastrophe and a jihadist ideology that has led to the massacre of tens of thousands? Is this really about fighting ISIS? Or is it about exploiting the threat posed by ISIS to achieve the long-term geopolitical goal of toppling the governments of Syria and Iran? And how many more thousands of innocent lives will be lost in the pursuit of that goal? How many more Christians and Muslims will be slaughtered for refusing to submit to ISIS's draconian reign of terror? How many more gay people will be thrown off buildings? How many more women stoned to death? How long before Democrats and Republicans, Liberals and Conservatives, unite to demand an end to this insanity? To stand in unison against the military-industrial complex and say this stops right now. Enough is enough.